Hello, we got R66 brought to the shop this morning, spray rig, you can see on the bottom here. And uh, evidently it was only developing 90% torque with full collective. Uh, N1 seemed to be normal, temp seemed to be normal. So if you dig in, figure out what the problem is. And uh, we'll keep you guys updated on that as soon as we figure it out. Dean did was uh, download all the EMU data and he found that uh, really nothing out of the ordinary other than the fact that it would only achieve about 90, 92% torque. Uh, there was nothing on that data at all to suggest what the problem was. So then he went to looking for mechanical issues. Uh, looked at the height of the ball on the swash plate, measured the length of the um, uh, push-pull tubes under the floor, all, and all of that was in tolerance. So at that point he decided to uh, call Robinson Helicopter and ask for some, uh, if anybody had any thoughts on the issue there. He ended up talking to, um, uh, it was Dan Rugenstein, and they had sort of a meeting of the minds on the phone for a bit, and then uh, Dan uh, mentioned, said, well, hey, why don't you check the, um, the slider uh, assembly on the friction, and there have been cases where people disassembled it to install, uh, modify the aircraft, to put spray rigs on it or otherwise, and install that slider section upside down. So uh, let's go to the, the next little short video, and I'll show you what we found. Okay, so here's looking at the slider on the friction for the collective. And when you look at this thing, this is what holds the friction on for the collective. So when you push the collective down or pull the collective up, you can add friction with it right here. This That adds friction, makes it harder to push up or pull down. Well, we had this aircraft and brought to the shop and the aircraft would only achieve about 92% torque all the way, pulling on the collective all the way up. Well, the problem was this little slider bar, this part of it right here, this part, was installed upside down. And I'll show you a picture of what that looks like here. And if you note, when you look at it, you'll see that the bolt hole that is down here, would be in the slider down here, is located up here. We took a picture of it before we fixed it. and uh, that would not allow the collective to come all the way up. This has happened, evidently according to Robinson, this has happened more than once on R66s that have been worked on. People have put the things back together and got the sliders upside down before. So something to think about if you have a R66 and you can't get the torque all the way to, up to 100% because you can't lift the collective all the way. So this looks like an example of a very simple mistake that could have led to a very <laughs> big problem. Uh, you know, easily could have led to an incident or accident. Now, luckily it did not. This was found and corrected before it led to any incident. But I can see as uh, you coming in, you know, getting ready to, uh, you know, pick up a full load with the R66 and, uh, you know, heavies all get out and go to try to lift the uh, 66 off the, the truck and uh, could be a bit of a surprise when you could get to make 100% torque and get the thing to lift off the truck. So anyway, luckily in this case, uh, it was found before any incident or any accident. And, but now having said that, my next question is to myself and Robinson is, has this ever happened with an R44? The slider design, uh, the friction and slider on the um, 44 is essentially identical to the 66. So. At least potentially you got to wonder if this has ever happened on one that's been modified with uh, say for instance spray rig attached and that um, part of the aircraft disassembled and reassembled have any of those ever been reassembled uh, inadvertently upside down with the same problem so if i was getting ready to fly their 44 or 66 that had been modified recently i would damn sure take a look at the friction and make sure that the slider is, is uh, installed correctly and not upside down where it would limit your uh, ability to pull full collective and get full power. So hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next video.